The tornadoes that roared through central Indiana on Wednesday we're learning caused more damage in Kokomo, Kokomo than originally thought. You can see here from Chopper 13 HD as well as on the ground some of the devastating images, homes torn apart. Hundreds of them are heavily damaged or destroyed. And despite all of that, our reporter Rich Van Wyk learns the city has only a slim chance of getting federal aid. The more emergency management officials walk through these neighborhoods, the more damage they find. The number of destroyed and badly damaged homes in Howard County is almost seven times more than preliminary estimates. Mayor Greg Goodnight. It, it's, wor it's much worse than I had hoped it would be. The latest count stands at 81 homes destroyed. 173 so damaged they're unlivable, and nearly 750 others with minor damage or affected by the tornadoes. By dawn, repair crews reduced the number of customers without power to less than 5,000. Duke Energy expects to finish by Saturday night. More than 50 communities offered Kokomo help to clean up its neighborhoods. The city is calling them in a few at a time to keep the crews from getting in each other's way. It's going to take uh, more than just a couple of days to clear this up. We have a lot of debris. We have a lot of uh, trees that are down. Removing mountains of trash lining neighborhood streets will cost Kokomo a pile of cash. The mayor, though, doubts the damage and costs are significant enough to qualify for federal assistance. I'm not counting on it. Let's just say that. Uh, and, and regardless of whether we get it or not, we still have to clean up the neighborhoods. We still have to clear the streets. Tornadoes that damaged or destroyed so many cars and homes also took down a small urban forest worth of trees. The mayor says it is going to take years to rebuild and replant Kokomo. Rich Van Wyk reporting this morning. Thank you. Students at Franklin Central are raising money for the Kokomo tornado victims. I started our morning there for sunrise as they're collecting during Operation Football this morning here on our morning show. This is actually school spirit day at the school. They're collecting money at tonight's football game against Ron Colley. And so far, just going through the first period of lunch, they've raised more than $200 and expect much more of that here throughout the day. Of course, we'll update you on their progress. When Hoosiers are hurting, we put WTHR CARES into action in the wake of the tornado damage. We activated a special phone, book, phone bank yesterday afternoon to take your donations. We will bring that phone bank back again this afternoon, starting with Eyewitness News tonight at 5. The lines will be up and running. We've partnered with great community businesses and organizations, including the Red Cross, to get help to where it's so desperately needed the most. Again, the phone bank opens tonight at 5, so tune in. And if you'd like to give in the meantime, you can text your donation by texting Red Cross, all one word, to 9099.